So I'm at St Andrew's Church in Essex, England, and this is the site, or possible site, of the battle between King Canute, Denmark, and Edward Ironside, the Saxons. Now it's set on a hill, and it's a very pretty church. Now I've been over to the other side to Ash uh, to Canudan. There's another church there. So one of these churches King Canute built. Now on the wall here we've got it's a bit hard to read. 1016 Battle of Ashingdon fought on this spot between Canute the Dane and Edward Ironside. On St Luke's Day, in this battle, all the mobility, nobility of the English race was destroyed. This comes from the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles. In 1020, in this year, went the King Canute to Ashendon and the Archbishop, well, stand, I'll read that one, the Earl, and many bishops and also bishop and many monks, and consecrated the ministry of Ashendon, that comes from the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, and caused to be built a minister of stone and lime for the souls of the men who fought there that were slain and gave it to one of his priests, whose name was Digard. Also, so we've got all the different rectors, priests, monks, whatever you want to describe them as, from the years... It carries on. This is not unusual for churches to have this history actually and they will put it on boards such as this and you can see it carries on. All the way. It's been nicely done right to the present day. So we've got Timothy Clay 2002 so, this will be the south porch and the west tower. It's an interesting church, it's got some sort of, looks like I noticed there was some sort of sundial here. And if we go off to the actual site itself. This is quite impressive. In the distance, if you look at that hill over there, if you look on top, on top there's a church. That's in Canudan. I've been up there and it's an impressive church. It's, I personally would put the, the king being built that that church is it's most impressive. It's, it's a lot bigger than this one. It's a lot bigger than St Andrew's, but you never know. It is disputed. But either way, you can see in the distance there, you can see the, the river. And I took, um, took a drive up to the church there and on that side, there's a bridge there that goes on to an island. And I think they probably, the king would have come up there. The battles meant to have took place here on these, on these slopes. So there's actually a sign here. Which basically says, Battle of Asindon fifth and final battle in 1016 between the armies of Edmund Ironside, the King of England and Canute, the King of Denmark. Although the location is disputed, the Ashton in North East Essex making a claim on the site is widely believed that As Asundon, 
equates to Ashington. So in, t in October 1016, Edward was holed up in Kent. Canute led a raid into Mercia, a former Anglo-Saxon kingdom, but Edward intercepted him at Assenden on the way back. The battle was fought on the 18th of October. The base it said it lasted all day and it went in Canute's favour because the defection of Edward's right hand man Edric Strinola, Strino, Strinoa to the Danish side. And then it, it gives you some detail there. It's got a nice diagram. Shows Ed, Edmund's army, Saxons, Canute. And if you look over there, you can see on top, top there, the um, church, which will be here. There's the estuary. So he's either coming here or, or the estuary comes around the back here and he's come around the back. It looks like they've possibly agreed they've met on the low ground. There's hills either side, so it's, it's possible. Most impressive uh, location. Although you can't see through the trees, it is quite a, quite a big hill. Nice to get inside the church have a look. You can see the hill, the terrain, the way it drops down even here. Although this is going inland now, and you've got Rochford and South End over here in the distance, you can see by the big towers. But you can still see the way even here. Got a definite advantage if you're on this hill. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>